First question is from Serafina Ross. Should I hire a personal trainer before I hire a nutritionist or does that not matter? I want to focus more on having the right nutrition for the way I'm exercising since I know less about nutrition. Oh, that's an interesting question. You know what? Um, as I think about it, I think the best order, and now this is going to be different from person to person, so this may not apply to everybody that I'm talking to, but I think generally speaking, you want to start with your trainer before you start nutritionist, and here's why. When I used to train clients, um, I wouldn't really get down uh, to the nitty gritty with the nutrition till later because working out is easier than diet. Like it's easy, it was easy for me to get someone to show up and train with me a couple days a week. It's really hard to work on nutrition. That's a very, that's a, such a much more it's complex. It's way more ingrained in, in your everyday process. And it's exactly, it's every day, okay. all day. And so typically what I would do with the average client is they would start working out with me. And let's say we start working out twice a week and then they'd ask me, what about nutrition? What can I do with nutrition? Now in the early days, before I knew any better, I would give them everything. Oh, here's your meal plan. This is what you're going to eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Here's your calories, proteins, fats, carbs. Don't eat that. Eat this. And it just failed because it was too much. Later on, what I did was people would ask me, you know, after I start training them, well, what about nutrition? And then I would make one small change. You know, mm -hmm. I'd say, okay, let's look at your, your diet. And I'd say, okay, here's what I want you to do. How do you feel about adding one serving of vegetables a day. Let's just start with that. And it was just a, it's just a slower process for permanent change with nutrition than it is with, with exercise. That's interesting. This is an area where we're different than how we coach because I actually, and it, this didn't happen until later in my career. Early on, I, I, I was just like you in that. Uh, I, and I think that a lot of that had to do with I just wasn't confident in, in my nutrition knowledge to be able to really help someone. So I would just you know print off the meal plan, hand it to yeah. the type of deal. But later, as I got uh, more experience, I realized how important the nutrition was in to the results of this this client would have. Like, I knew if I programmed right and I trained them good, I could get anybody if they, especially if they weren't training properly, to see some results. But I realized quickly that boy, if I got them to dial their nutrition in uh, with that, the results were unbelievable. And it's like I could show them a lot in a short amount of time if I was able to really dial in nutrition. So I actually would get to I got to a point where. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't take you as a client until you had done your due diligence of tracking your food and stuff. So if you came to me and said, "Hey, I want to pay you to train me this and that," I'd say, "Okay, before we even train, I want you to do this, this, and this." Like you need to start tracking. You need to do the. You need to look at all these things. You need to bring that to me. Then I'll start you off, and we'll start training. And then I could. Then I would do what you said. Subtle things, right? So I would start to add things into their diet, but I would make, and, and what it did was <clears throat> it, it weeded out all the, the people that were too lazy to even do that. And I knew that mm -hmm. if they were, if they were too lazy to even track what they were doing. I'm not even telling you you had to eat a certain way. I'm just saying track what you're doing. Uh, and I, then I knew they were going to be lazy about everything else I taught them if they couldn't do that. If I, you, before you spent any money on me, you couldn't, and you were about to invest in me. If you didn't take the time to track food for a week or two to present that to me, then I knew that you weren't going to be a good client anyways. And I knew the things that I would try and teach you would be off. But to this person's question, I mean, this is what's kind of cool about, uh, I mean, the work and effort that we've put into designing really good programs is. I would hire a nutritionist and start a MAPS program. I mean, and then eventually, if uh, if you want, hire a personal trainer to really dive even deeper into your programming and maybe customize it even more towards you. But I mean, we got the programming that we've put so much time and effort into. Um, I think you could pair that with a great nutritionist and see phenomenal results right out the gate. That would be my suggestion. Yeah, I was a little more like I totally agree and and you know understand where you're coming from with that in terms of the priorities of understanding like where you're at, especially the tracking part. So you can bring that information in and then we can have that to refer to. I think that's a, a huge part of it. So I would, I would highlight that with my clients and like, at least I want to know like your patterns. Uh, we wouldn't necessarily change anything right away. Uh, I would, I would then at least be able to know, okay, I, this is probably what she's eating. This is probably what uh, I'm working with right now, but I want to get her up and running and, and get these, uh, you know, workouts established. And the priorities for me was always around uh, movement and, and function and, and alleviating pain, you know, while they wanted to uh, get leaner and, and show off, you know, more of a, a, a lean tone physique. 
Um, but I mean, th that was like my typical client. Uh, but definitely like getting the, the workouts established and, and um, being able to address all those things was just uh, something that is hmm. obviously it could have been more my wheelhouse because like nutrition came a, little bit, a bit later for me. But, uh, you know, something that I still to this day, I'll I'll just slowly integrate um, nutrition advice. And then, uh, you know, that way we can just work on one thing at a time because it is so ingrained in their everyday process. You know where this really started for me was uh, with my family. So I remember getting so, and I'm sure you guys remember, had this. Like I used to get so frustrated. Well, family is just the category of people that are just <clears throat> yeah, they're typically like, oh, I want help, and you really don't. Yeah, they exactly. Right, yeah. And so this is a, it. Feels good for them to say that it started this way because of family. Like so, it wasn't. I didn't piece this together off of clients until I started to do it with family, and then I was like, oh shit, I should really apply this to clients. And that was, you know, obviously you've been doing this as long as we have. Uh, in in your your family starts coming to you like crazy that, you know, hey, could you help me with my diet or help me with my pro? And at the, at the beginning, especially early on as a trainer, like I want to help all of them. And then you get kind of frustrated. You're like, you sit, I sit down and I write everything all out for them. And then like they fucking do it for a week and then they're done or they half ass it. And it just be like, oh, that's great. I sat down for hours to try and help my family member out. And then they didn't really, they just want it. They wanted the quick fixes just like everybody else does. Right. So I quickly learned that, you know what? I'm not going to tell my family no. Like that's a dick move to tell my family I won't help them, but I'm going to put more responsibility on them to mm -hmm. show me and sell them on why it's important they do all that before I could can even help them. And so I began telling them, well, okay, I'll help you. What I need though from you first is you to do this, this, and this. And I would give them like those things for them to go do and then to present to me. And then you know what ends up happening? 90% of yeah. them <laughs> never come back with this thing to present to me because they weren't even ready to do that. Yeah, yeah, the way I look at it too is just the, the the psychology behind it all. Like I know when the client shows up to train with me, I'm there. Like I'm there for the workout. I'm not there for your eating. I'm not always going to be there for right. your nutrition. And so for me, it's just, let's start with the easier stuff and then move and, and slowly tackle the more difficult stuff. And the easier stuff is to show up to work out with me twice a week. That's easy compared to nutrition, yeah. which can be very, very difficult. So that's just where I would start. And then it would be a slow process. And the conversation was, here's all the stuff that you're going to have to do eventually, but don't worry. There's a process to get there and, and we're going to work through that process. And it might take a while, but when we do get there, uh, it's going to be permanent. I've also worked with nutritionists, and those are hit or miss. Yeah, I'm not oh. going to lie. Yeah, let's talk about that. Like, it's so many with really, really old information uh, <laughs> that I'm just like appalled that they still teach in school. Oh, <laughs> referring I, to like the food pyramid. Oh my shit. god, <laughs> no, I, I worked. With, I worked with nutritionists that took zero of the client psychology into. Uh, they literally did what I used to do, which was make meal plans. And I couldn't believe that this was somebody that you know you, you would pay to hire. Who this was their specialty. Yeah. Um, I've also worked nutritionists who are really good, um, as long as they work with the trainer. I think that, that you know that's the best thing to do. But if you had to pick between a personal trainer and a nutritionist, and you're thinking I have limited resources, I can only hire one or the other. Um, I think a good personal trainer is probably going to bring you more value than a good nutritionist initially. Not saying that you won't work with one later on. But initially, start with the easier commitment, uh, the the smaller first step. Which, believe it or not, working out is a smaller first step than than fixing your diet. 